All right, here we are at a 2017 Cobalt R7 bow rider for sale. We're here near the beautiful freshwaters of North Lake, Tennessee today. This is a one owner boat. It's been here, used locally here on North Lake ever since it was new. 33.3 engine hours are showing on this Volvo 380 horsepower. Fuel injected, inboard outboard, stern drive, dual prop out drive, Lenco trim tabs with indicators, all that and more. We'll be giving you the full walk around tour as usual. Go around the exterior here, then we'll climb inside, go over all the um, interior options and layout, and then we'll finish up with one more walk around of the exterior where we'll get up a little bit, a little bit more closely. This was this a uh, uh, Phoenix tandem axle trailer with dual disc brakes, custom tires. This is included with it. Measurements on the boat come in at uh, about 27 and a half feet for your LOA, which is your length overall. Eight and a half foot beam. Dry weight on this one is going to be roughly 5,600 pounds. That is the dry weight. That, that means that is the weight of the boat without any fuel or gear. Now we've also got a 77 gallon onboard fuel tank, 10 gallon freshwater tank. And this one also has a waste holding tank as well. So all that's gotta be taken into consideration for the, for the total weight of the boat. But the dry weight, 5,600 pounds. Now this is the patented, Cobalt flip down swim platform. We've got a hinge right here. This locks into place. Okay, you unlock that hinge, whole thing flips up. We've got the marine mat flooring throughout. And as you can see, we've got two speakers back here on your swim platform. We've got a filler cushion right here on the swim platform as well. You'll see this a little bit better once we do step on board. It. So won't call your attention. We've got to pull out just a handheld shower. Folds right out of there or pulls right out of there. And there's that dual prop. Dual prop out drive, stainless steel prop. It's also got underwater lights. Either side of that transom there. We'll go ahead and get that little pull again. It released, got to fold right down. And this makes getting in and out of the water much easier. Now, bear with me here. I've got to hop up just a little bit. Try to make that transition as smooth as we can. Okay. This one's yacht certified. That simply means that there's no capacity plate put on here by Cobalt when it leaves the factory. And there is a formula to figure out exactly how many people can be on board. It's going to be the length times the times the beam divided by 15, and that'll get you roughly how many how many people is allowed to be on board. And and that is based off the average person weighing 150 pounds. So you do that with this boat. You come in at uh, around 15 15 passengers. But again, that's also going to very dependent on the weight of your passengers and also needs to account for all the gear that you're going to be carrying with you. Now, a couple neat things here on our uh, swim swim deck. Obviously, we showed you showed you that little folding swim platform. We've got a uh, removable ski tow bar. It's going to uh, mount right there in that little hole right there. And this seat back here will slide forward and back. So there's your rear facing position right there. You've got a stereo remote right here. And then again, uh, this little cushion right here, this is removable. That's that's currently a filler cushion. And we've also got a little fold up seat back right here. Okay. And of course you can also slide this the other way. Now you got forward and rear facing seat, seating right here. Got a nice little walk through right here. And I've got some of our interior lights turned on. As you can see, we've got a large bimini top mounted overhead. 
<laughs> over top this folding um, whiteboard tower. Now if you are pulling skiers, skiers or whiteboarders, you've got a little bit of a Get two layers of Velcro here. Okay, and then that's gonna get you up to your ski toe pylon. Right there. That's where you would hook your ski ropes if you're going skiers or weight borders. And of course that'll go right back in place. As you look at it from the top side here. Now if you're pulling anybody on a inner tube, all your towables are gonna go off of this pylon right here. Only skiers and weightboarders are designed to be pulled off that tower. Now we've got a removable lounge table that will mount right here in this little tray right here. It's a side mount. We've got hinged seat hardware. You can get a little gas shock on, on, on the cobalt, so that's going to hold itself up into position. We've got a snap-in bow cover and a cockpit cover right down in here. And here's this. Bolt, or the... Um, removable ski toe pylon. There's your battery switch right here. I'm going to show you exactly how this little pylon goes in place right there. See we got a little thread on there. It just simply, simply just drops down into there. You're going to twist that and there's your, uh, there's your toe pylon. All right, this is um, snap-in marine mat flooring. So this is like a foam, uh, vinyl foam flooring. We've got this passenger convertible seat back. This could be your forward and rear facing. You get a lift up bolster seat right here. It's gonna give your passenger, if they're riding forward facing, get them a better view over this steering wheel here, or the uh, windshield here. And this bolster will drop right back down into place. We've got it a little lift out. Go the other way with this seat back. A little lift out cushion right there. That is a self draining ice chest. A little cooler. Pop that right back into place. So there's your kind of your rear facing uh, lounged passenger seat back. Integrated cup holders over here on the side, along with a little grab bar. Second grab bar right here. This is actually a speaker right here. They're kind of upholstered uh, uh, speaker covers. We've got a speaker there. That's one, two, three, four. Two more up in the bow. Make six cockpit speakers. And one subwoofer here underneath your driver's seat. Okay, now just forward at your passenger seat. Come raise this whole flip up bolster. This is going to be our head compartment. We've actually got a macerator head on board waste holding tank. Down here in your head compartment, we've got exhaust fan, port light, and um, the other one's going to be your your flush switch, and you notice we get a little bit of uh, lighting coming in overhead. Since you got a little um, this little skylight there, but it's uh, that's just designed to let some light in. Over here, just in front of your passenger seat, we've got 12 volt power outlet, along with a auxiliary and USB uh, input for your stereo. It's a little dry box in here. This will allow you to change your um, your stereo remote. Uh, this will switch for either your um, driver remote, your transfer remote, or both. And as you can see, we got some little light, light at cobalt logo right here. Um, and then there's a there's that transfer remote. I think I pointed that one. Out. All right. We've got storage under this seat as well. This one's also on a hinge. 
This is a little bit uh, a little bit filled up at the moment. I believe that's also another uh, another little self-draining um, ice chest. Two stainless steel cup holders right here. I believe we've got 12 cup holders throughout, and that does not count of the four that you're going to have on a little wood accent removable lounge table. A little storage compartment right here. We've also got an integrated um, a waste basket. I believe it's slightly covered up in here. There's that little integrated waste basket. Okay. Here's your driver's seat. We got that same flip up bolster driver's seat. Driver's seat can slide forward. Also do a little bit of a swivel here. Went a little bit too far with that. Bring it back the other way. Gotta lock into place. We got tilt steering wheel here at your driver's helm. Engine hour made right here. Also, this is a little uh, engine information display. 33.3 engine hour showing. Water pump switch uh, is down here. Windless controls down here as well. Here's your 12 volt power outlet for your driver. Here's your Linco trim tag controls with your trim indicators. And those indicators are nice because it lets you know exactly the position of those. And then we've got two Garmin. Uh, these are Garmin, uh, I believe these were 7, 741 GPS uh, touchscreens. And so we've got a chart plot over here on this side. Here's your chart plotter. Now you can also change the other information that's displayed. You've got GPS speed um, right here. You've got depth finder right here, your water temp, and your uh, GPS heading. So that's, that's kind of letting you know which direction you're going north, south, east, west. And over here on this screen, we've got um, your integrated um, engine display, battery volts, um, engine oil pressure, engine water temp, fuel tank. Uh, this can be your uh, your trim indicator, GPS speed, tachometer, along with your uh, digital tach integrated into that as well as a compass heading. That's a uh, tripodometer. Fuel flow meter right here. That's going to tell you how many gallons per hour you are using as you're moving down the lake. And there's our engine hour display right there. Now you can also customize these screens. You can, um, you can create a, a, a few different combinations of this. So here's your uh, fuel flow meter, your um, miles per gallon, and then that would be, I think, an average uh, fuel range, how many fuel, um, how much fuel you have remaining, and then here's another inf info display. And all, all of these displays can kind of be customized uh, to however you, you like them to uh, to read out. I like any screen with a fuel flow meter myself. Now here's your driver stereo remote. Everything function tested just fine on this one. We've got, uh, you get your swim lights back here. Get a little light, light up right there. We've got swim platform lights on earlier. Might be able to see them turning on and off. We tested the, uh, the navigation lights as well. Docking lights. See a little glow on the, uh, the truck up there. And then of course we, uh, bilge, bilge and blower both pass function testing along with the horn. Now our stereo, we've got uh, AM, FM, USB, auxiliary input, Bluetooth, Pandora, and um, Kaepernick decides to get see here. In corn rows. When we... so turn that turn that volume down here just so we can use the audio here for uh, for our video uploads. So you got AM, FM. This is your weather band. Okay, that's going to be your NOAA weather band. And there's your USB auxiliary input, Bluetooth, Pandora, Sirius XM satellite ready, and then back to FM. And again, you got you're gonna have this control here at your driver's helm, and as well as back there on your um, swim platform. Large in floor storage locker, right, right here. As you, before you go up toward the uh, the bow here, Let me raise this for you because this is quite large. Very deep. Now yeah, we've also got a um, wind block here going up to your bow seating. I'm gonna go ahead and slide that 
windshield over. This would uh, would go into place here. You slide those little pins in place, and then you can close your uh, windshield back. And there's your little uh, wind block for those cooler mornings, evenings, or days at the lake, depending on the time of year that you're out. Yeah, turn our turn our key off there at the uh, that our helm. So here's our bow seating right here. Now we've got a bow filler cushion in place right here. That is this this seat cushion right here. We'll have some photos of this at the website with and without that filler cushion. And then we've got a folding uh, fold up bow armrest and four stainless steel cup holders up here, two on either side of the uh, your bow seating, along with your uh, your speaker right there. Nice grab rail all the way up here. We've got a windless anchor on this one. There's your uh, your windless anchor. There's your uh, the hardware for your docking line. So I was kind of going through the bow there. Close that hatch. And then of course we've got storage under these seats as well. Um, all except for this one right here. Um, this one is not gonna lift up and stow because this is uh, backed up to that head compartment that we uh, peeked in earlier. All your other uh, seats up here, we do have some, some storage integrated in under. And again, this, this seat will come all the way out. Now, I really like these storage compartments right here. So you've got one right here. Um, this can lift up. Now, some people use this as a little waist bin. Uh, they actually happen to have a little, um, little, oops, little fender down here. And this is your, uh, your quick release fender hardware. And let me see if I can show you an example of how this works. You're going to have, I believe there's four different um, positions where your fender can go. And here's here's one right here. It's going to be one of those four. Slides into place, pops in, and and you're all set. So there's your fender. And you're uh, ready to release it. It comes right out. And you go stow it away. Lots of storage on this boat. Slide it right back into there. And again, here's these uh, here's these little fold down that armrest. You get quite comfortable about anywhere in this boat. You've got uh, some high quality upholstery as well. And you'll notice we've got those uh, gas shock um, supports there. That's going to hold that uh, that hatch open. And here's that little wood grain um, removable lounge table that you uh, heard me comment of earlier. Got those four integrated stainless steel cup holders, and you've got this dedicated storage slot for it right here. Um, those other little bags down there are for uh, for putting in your filler cushions. And then we've got two um, two JL audio stereo amplifiers right here, and then that is going to be uh, the mount for that removable lounge table, and that's what goes on the um, that's what goes right there. In this little slot here that we pointed out earlier, that's where that uh, move a lounge table is going to go. All right. So this is a very versatile bow rider. Um, room for a crowd and adequately powered. Where you're going to be comfortable going down the lake no matter how many people you've got on board with you here's this large uh, sunbrella bimini top this goes from your bow windshield all the way back to just above this uh, this large uh, kind of rear sun lounge um, engine cover and here's this other seat back here. That's that's what that hardware looks like. Slide that back in down into place. All right. Uh, battery switch was under this uh, seat as well. I think I already made reference to that. And, oh, I believe I've got to remove our remove our little ski tow pylon here before I can raise this engine hatch for you. All right. Let's get that out of the way. Actually, I'm gonna put that back in the mount. That's one nice thing about this cobalt everything has a place and um, when everything's mounted down everything stays where it's supposed to be and easy to find okay, now we'll 
lift this up. And of course those gas shocks do most of the lifting. So here's that Volvo Penta. 380 V8, multi-port fuel injected. Inboard outboard with that dual prop out drop. Here's your dual interstate batteries with a uh, battery selector switch. We've got an onboard Pro Mariner. Um, that is a that is a uh, 20 amp dual bank uh, onboard battery charger. And as you can see, we've got a lot of storage on either side of your engine back here as well. And then that would be that hose for that uh, removal uh, transom shower. Again, 33.3 30, engine hours on this one. This one has hardly been broken in and uh, locally used one owner freshwater boat. It's going to make somebody a nice one here. So. All right, I think that's about all here on the interior. I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip off our uh, interior lighting. And then we're going to go walk around the exterior one more time. We're going to get up close and personal with it and take a good look at everything um, in, uh, interior-wise, as far as wear and tear. So but now we're getting to the point where generally we're going to go over any wear and tear we noticed. Interior-wise, everything looks as good as new. Um, and I know if, you, if you've seen a lot of our videos, that's something that, uh, that we rarely say. Um, you know, we get a little bit of dirt in here. Um, but have not noticed any rips, tears, or, um, or major staining anywhere. You, may, you maybe got a little bit of staining right here on this filler cushion. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and, and this one does need a little bit of a detail. We've got some dust sitting on here. Um, it's been stored indoors when it's not being used. Bear with me here as I climb off. Okay, so here's that dual prop out drop. We got a uh, glimpse of this earlier. Um, you know, that's about the only sign of use on this whole boat almost. It's right there on that out drive. Um, and then we got a few we got a few marks on the exterior. We're gonna show you those next. So going around the exterior. Um, this side is the worst of it. Now, some of this looks like it's transferred off of something. Um not quite sure if this will rub off because she kind of looks like it will this looks like it's kind of transferred off of a fender maybe um but we're, we're going to show you this um now this 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 area right in here this feels like a little bit more of a more of some scratching some of these other spots oh uh, you know what we're, we're going to leave it we're going to leave it as that's there um, and we're going to assume it's going to stay there until until we've seen evidence that it will remove. Uh, but it does feel like, you can kind of see my finger picking at it right there. It, it looks like this is transferred off of something, maybe something plastic, some type of fender, um, or uh, maybe some a plastic fender on on some dock hardware. So these, eyes, th these areas right here, th that may come clean. Uh, this right in here definitely looks a little bit scratched. So even if it does remove, I think you're going to have some some remnants of this area right here remaining. Um, and and again, just assume all this is going to still be here. So I believe many of the areas will come off. Now right here, this is somewhere. Obviously, this uh, the T on the cobalt uh, emblem here is broken. You've got some scratches in the cobalt lettering. Um, on this side, and then again, we've got some more of this, more of this, more of this mystery, um, so that, again, that might come off, um, we're going to show it to you as if, it, as if it's not as if it's not going to come off now some of this uh, black right in here I believe this is dirt that will come off yeah you can see my finger now kind of took that right off so these these kind of markings kind of continue on this side now this right here this little white mark this definitely is not going anywhere our fingernails catching the edge that means that's kind of penetrated that uh, gel coat of this of this uh, gray 
gel coat and that's that's where you're seeing that white there that is going to remain even after detail some of these little brown uh, marks may or may not come off uh, this guy definitely is not going anywhere and we've got a few more of these so th th we're going to show you all of this that's on here right now there's a few more of these areas kind of looks like something's transferred off of something from a dock maybe and okay well that's about that's about it on this side let me go back down one more time on this side all right so here's the one that's definitely not going anywhere and now some of these may still remain too after a good detail so we're going to show you all of that and of course you've got the cobalt lettering damage and then this this area right here these scuffs i think are definitely going to be here even after it's detailed all right below the water line things look really nice um trailer looks really good uh, we've got 2016 tires on there And of course, here's your uh, your windless anchor up here at the bow. You've got those two docking lights. You've got your bow scuff plate right here, and a very nice clean bow line going all the way down uh, below the water line. Step over here on our port side, and you're going to see a lot of the same very clean bow line. Not noticed any marks down here below the the uh, the bow line. All right, now up here, we've, we've got some water spots on here. Um, and we're not gonna focus on these water spots because I know those will come off. But now we, we have kind of rubbed the water spots away in, in these areas right here. Because again, this is another area that we've got a small little scratch into that gel coat. And these areas of this white, those are not going anywhere after this boat's detailed. Right here, um, yeah, I think you can see those water marks right in there, that water line. See, that's gonna come right off. Kind of see. So with some scrubbing, these water spots will will disappear. So that's why we're not going to look too heavy at those uh, those um, water spot spots. But we did kind of uh, wipe those water spots away, so you can see these other areas uh, right here on this gel coat where you do have some scratching. Um, so you've got get here, got this little bit right through here and here, another one right in here. Okay. Stepping back, and then I'm going to keep going down the side here. We've got one more area as we get back here near the back third of the boat, actually right below this other cobalt logo. So this cobalt logo is all still in good shape, uh, but another good little gel coat scratch going all the way along this edge right here. That's just barely catching that fingernail. A little bit more here, so I think it's actually a little bit of a of a thicker. Mark right in here, a little bit lighter in here. This one here is, is definitely in the lighter, but I don't think that's going anywhere after, even after this one gets detailed. So those, those areas right there, the areas we try to show you are the ones that are not going anywhere. So here's another one of those, um, those four fender, uh, fender mounts. Nice size stainless steel dock cleat. There's another fender mount right here. So you got four of these. You got another cleat right here. And one in the what center? Let's see if we got a cleat up. Yep, another cleat up here on the bow. So we're gonna have six, six good stainless steel bow cleats. You got four of those quick release fenders. Um, connections, bimini top, this umbrella bimini top, that folding arch, you get the swim platform. 380 horsepower Volvo inboard outboard stern drive engine with 33.3 engine hours on it upgraded stereo Again fresh water use one owner boat Been stored indoors and used here locally on Norris Lake, Tennessee since it was new And as usual, I will remind you to visit our website for the full list of specifications and features of this 2017 Cobalt R7 bow rider for sale here near north lake tennessee we'll add the full list of specifications features and the current asking price all at our website for your convenience there will be a direct link to this one if you go scroll down into that video description there's going to be a direct link that will take you right over to our website 
um, at the listing page for this one. It's going to have the full list of features, specifications, current asking price, as well as all of our contact info. You'll be able to contact us by phone, by text, or by email, whatever's most convenient for you. But we do like to remind you if you send us an email, if it's been one business day, you have not gotten an email reply, please check your spam folder. We're generally very quick about getting our email replies back out to you. And if you call us on the phone, you happen to get our voicemail. Keep in mind, we are very frequently in, in areas without cell phone reception. It's actually uh, currently where I'm standing right now. I'm in one of those areas. We've been in here a little while getting some photographs and a video of this one. So um, anytime you get our voicemail, if you do want to return a phone call, all you got to do is leave us a detailed message to let us know which listing you're looking at, what questions you have. As soon as we either re-enter cell phone service area or finish with the client, we will receive your message, return your call, and answer all those questions for you. You can also text us, um, send us a text message as well. You see our phone number listed um, by following that direct link over to our website. Now, if you do not want to leave YouTube and you're only trying to see what we currently have available for sale um, at YouTube, then I would highly recommend going over to our YouTube channel. That's at youtube.com slash your new boat as this video wraps up. There will be a shortcut in the top left hand corner of the screen that will take you to our current listings playlist. Um, if you go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash your new boat, you're going to see two playlists, one for sole boat models and one for our current listings. So you want to going to want to click into that current listings if you only want to see what we currently have available for sale. And otherwise, um, do follow that direct link that's down there in that video description for your convenience to get you over to our website where you're going to see full list of uh, features, all the options, current asking price, and again, all of our contact information. And that's gonna wrap things up for us here today. Again, this is the 2017 Cobalt R7 bow rider for sale here near North Lake, Tennessee. I thank you again for joining us. Um, and then also on the top right hand corner of the screen as this video tour concludes, you're also gonna see a shortcut to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you haven't already, that's a great way to get notified of new inventory as it comes available in our area. YouTube slash Google will contact you anytime a new video posts, which means um, a new listing is uh, is coming to the um, to the market in our area. So I thank you again for joining us.